What's up, everyone? It is your girl, JL Beauty 87 here, aka Get Grace, and today we're gonna get into the Cosmic Wanderer palette. So, I bought this because I love when Terra Moon Cosmetics comes out with palettes, and I was like, yes, I have to have it. Now, I thought this palette was a pre order, but to my surprise, it was not. So here's what she looks like on the inside. Y'all know this is my color aesthetic and style. I was here for it, I was happy, I was so excited when I saw it. But it made me think of a couple of palettes in my collection when I initially um, grabbed it. This palette retails for $52 if you did not know or do not remember. Um, let me go ahead and get my comparison palettes. I had to move all the stuff around in this room because my son and his best friend were here spending the night and I didn't want them breaking up on my stuff and they still managed to drop a whole bunch of stuff, mess up a whole bunch of stuff, so give me a minute. So first off, here's the original palette they came out with, the El Barrio. I was so excited when they came out with this, but I think this came out like two years ago at least, and I was like waiting for them to drop another palette, so I was like, yes, give me the palette, give me all of it. I mean, look at this gorgeous artwork. It's just stunning, but here's what it looks like on the inside. So as you can see, they went with a different color story. I like this color story as well, though it's like warm with, you know, greens and blues, so I give you a nice little mixture. Should have with the new one. My friend just um, saw my notifications I sent her on Instagram about stuff she asked me about. So now she's answering me at this random time of night. So if you keep hearing my watch click, that's what you're hearing. Her answering all the messages I sent her. So we're going to start with the Sorcerer palette. Because as soon as I saw it, that's what it made me think of. I mean, look at this. Can you say main chick's side chick? Child, we're going to have to have a battle. Y'all know we're going to have to have a battle. We've got to have a battle, battle, of the palette. battle, battle, battle. And then we're going to have to turn around and have a battle against it in the Scooby-Doo one. Because I'm telling y'all, it looks exactly the same as the Scooby-Doo palette to me as well. But this is what they look like side by side. This is a more condensed version of this one. I feel like this one has a little bit more blue-greenish type situation to it. Whereas this pulled in more pink and purple tones. But, you know, I like both for different reasons. I would definitely be doing a palette mashup with both of them. In addition to doing a, um, you know... Battle of Love. So just stay tuned, girl. Next, we have the Warrior 3 palette from Juvia's Place. Now, this one isn't exact, but it does have some of the colors, so I feel like this could be a good companion palette because you can pull in some of the pink mattes in here and you can pull in the greens to go with those um, blues to make a nice little situation. Plus, there's like two great blue inner corner shimmer shades because you might not want to always put dual chrome in your inner corner. So here's those two. And next I have the Age of Opulence from Beauty Bay alongside the Terra Moons palette. Here's what they look like side by side. Again, I feel like this could be a good companion palette because you might want a fun dual chrome, but don't want to necessarily use a lot of uh, colorful mattes. There are always neutrals in Beauty Bay palettes for the most part, so you can pull the neutrals out of here and then have a fun dual chrome out of this palette. Or you could just pair both the palettes together and come up with something cool because since this has purples and pinks, and I feel like the pinks in here aren't as many, you can pull from here. Well, sorry, this doesn't have pink. I feel like if you're going to pull more purples, because it has deeper purples and deeper blues to go with the, um, or lighter blues to go with the blues in this palette, that would be good. Then I have the Palettopoly from Ace Butane. Just because it has like a blue, uh, green, purplish type section. So, as you can see, I mainly grabbed it for like this section right here, if you will, more of like the, you know, blue and purple and pink again pair those colors with the colors that are in this palette so I figure if I cover it up it'll make more sense or you won't be distracted by the other colors in it and last but not least we have the glam light x barbie palette so again I feel like this would be a great companion palette for this one because see you cover up this part right here and has a lot of um blues and purples and pinks to go with the blues and um purples and pinks in here so with all the palettes I have to compare. I feel like that's enough though, girl. Like, that's a lot. I still want to do a battle with this one and the um, sorcery palette just because, like, the color stories are so similar and I'm here for it. But let me zoom you on in real quick and cute. My bad. I forgot to read what it said on the top of this. It says, Wander into the beauty of the cosmos. This is called the Cosmic Wanderer. But, yeah. Let me go off camera, get my life in order, and get one of these eyes done. Okay, girl? Okay. Okay, y'all. This is what I came up with, so... Here's what it looked like. I did a little gra graphic line. I told you I'm trying to get into doing that a little bit more. So I went ahead and did that. I used the um, Vanessa Myricks liner. I believe I used the one in the shade Jade to um, put in the waterline. I'm going to put some pink toward the front of the waterline, which is why you see this weird little gap here that doesn't have anything in it. I'm going to put the pink toward the front part of the eye, but I need to do both sides of the eye first with the purple, and then we'll do that. So I did a unique tie to halo eye because as you can see I used dark toward the back but I used a light color toward the front instead of matching the halo eye with both the same colors. Then I used two shimmers on the lid. I used the green in the crease. So I used these two shades right here. I used this shade of course in the inner corner because it's shifting and it's stunning. I used these three shades down here and then I used this shade right here. 
and then we're gonna use this pink in the front of the eye like I told you about. So let's get started. I will say I'm not like the fact that this doesn't have a mirror, so my first right with the palette. There is no mirror for me there, but let's get into the shade. What is this? Triangle. I believe that's how you say it. So y'all yeah, have been extremely long day for me. I've been with two teenagers all day long. And then on Friday night, so basically my whole weekend was taken up by taking two teenagers out to go do stuff and letting my son's friends spend the night with us. Cause once a month I let him do that so that way he can spend time and hang out with his friends that always have him see him with me by like film stuff or whatever. But at the same time, it's like that means later on in the night. After I go drop his friend off, whatever, I still have to film, so I think his friend left something here that was, was like video game or something, so he's asking us about that. I'm gonna be like, why did you pack all your stuff with video? It was just super annoying, because it's like now, I gotta go drop that off tomorrow before I have to go to work, and it's like, this is an extra trip I gotta make because a kid couldn't keep up with their um, things. It was, it's just annoying. And then they kept messing up the stuff in this room, which you know, I had to keep coming up here and making my son put this stuff back, and this is the whole thing. Anyway, we're gonna take the shade back and I'll put it toward the front of the eye. For this like unique halo eye I found myself trying to do. Yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, so this is the whole thing. I was just like, oh. And then like working, getting any better today, uh, getting my nerves there. So I'm just like, I feel like everybody getting my nerves everywhere. And it's just like, oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, here, the shade bag is looking pretty nice. I wanted, like I said, a unique sort of halo eye. Only thing is, I feel like, I don't know, what is this? Anyway, I feel like I have a moment of good times and then a whole bunch of BS just come flying down after like the five minutes of good times. It's just like, uh, just exhausting and annoying. So now we're gonna take the green shade. This chlor chlorophyll or chrome sulfur. Whatever. I'm gonna take that green and just start dusting it in here. A lot of these shades I feel like are going to be brighter than they actually are. Like I feel like the green is darker than it looks in the pan and then I feel like the blue isn't giving as much pigmentation or as dark as it is in the pan. And I feel like the blue is lighter in the pan than it is on the eye. So it's like a lot of these colors just aren't to me matching up the way that they should from what I'm seeing in the pan versus what I'm seeing on my eyes. So. Anyway, that's what that looks like. I didn't use glitter glue this time. I'm going to take my clean E40 Max. Dust on me here. I had to buy like three eyeshadow collections today. I missed out on the um, regular Makina palette, I believe that's how you say it, from Adept. So it's like I had to end up getting the um, pre order because again, I was out with them at the Color Factory. And when it was supposed to launch at one o'clock when my alarm went off, of course, the site hadn't loaded yet. So I didn't get to um, order it when I wanted to. Like I usually order like right on the dime like that. But it's like because I was out somewhere, you know, having to do something, I didn't have time to be sitting around and wait for them to actually load the stuff to pay. So I looked up and like 10 minutes later, when it was one of the activities where you got to sit down and I got to look at my phone, um, I remembered I had an order the palette that I had one on the page and it wasn't there and they were already on pre-order. It had only been 13 minutes, y'all, but I was like, oh well, y'all will get the video eventually, I guess, or I might just do an Instagram post and not even make a whole video, because you gotta think, this palette's coming out in October, but mine didn't go show up till like December the 12th, who even gonna move and then, like, so you probably don't get a video on that, and I ordered two face palettes too, so. That's just a like me thing. Maybe I'll put them in a get ready with me or something like that. Or at least the face palettes in a get ready with me. So I don't, you know, I have to waste the money on that. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, a whole bunch of stuff that messed up today for me. As far as what I normally do with launches and stuff because I had to do all of what I did. But, you know, Adrian's happy, so it was fine. It's just, you know, when you only have so many days to do stuff and then you have to, you know, like, prioritize other things in and it seems like people don't appreciate it. that's what, like, you know, it's me about it. I'm going to take the blue shade now and just attach it to the purple. So I use that purple shimmer I showed you all originally toward the back and as you can see I'm using the blue one toward the front now to give it, like, the dual chrome effect. Not that it doesn't have a dual chrome effect on its own, but, you know, I know I've told you this in the past, like, you put two different shades on the lid and then when you turn your head it looks like... It's a different shade each time. I'm gonna take a little more blue in the front. So that's what I literally just tap into it once and just rub it toward the front of my eyeball like so. And now we're gonna um take the navy blue for the back. 
and build that up a little bit more as well because I feel like a little bit of color disappeared. I'm trying to bet if I even want to be bothered with the green because I feel like it's not really giving anything or adding to this look. So, there's that. So, I guess I'll go with the brush that already has um, shadow on it, but I'm not going to add any extra shadow. Okay, so that's pretty much the look. Let's get the clean brush again and dust off all this stuff. I'm going to put the purple on the lower lash line now, so let's grab that brush so that way I can dust off some of this purple and try to put the pink toward the front before I put the inner corner on because I'm going to try to end with the inner corner shape. But yeah, that was my day. I had to pay for parking. I had to pay for um, to go get gas. And I got to go drop off this video game controller tomorrow because somebody didn't keep up with their stuff. I mean, he left so much stuff around here. And I had found like three or four things already as we were leaving. And I was just like, I'm like, I don't see myself doing this again next year. It's like when the new year comes, I told him I do it once a month for the rest of the year. But it's only like two more months. And I'm like, yeah, no. I love doing this next year because it's just too much. I only get two days off. And the majority of the time I don't get to rest because I always have to do something else. So I'm not, I'm not about to be overextending myself next year. Like I finish off this year like I told my son I would. But next year I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this. Now we're going to take the pink shade and just run it right here. The front real cute and connect these together. some of the pink in the palette because I knew I wasn't going to be using pink shimmers or anything like that so I'm trying to fix it accordingly. So now we're going to go into shade First Light. That's the inner corner shade. That was a shade I was really excited about because I'm like I knew it had this gorgeous shift to it like you see right here. A blue bluish shift and I was here for it. I was like yeah give it to me. So I do my um, eyeliner and um, you know mascara off camera so let's talk about this palette as a whole and how i feel about it so and if you didn't notice i flat ironed my hair i did that last night too because i was like i was tired of doing the waves i'm doing something simple so like here we are but anyway my thoughts on this palette i have mixed feelings on it because it's like i'm feeling like a lot of the dark mattes aren't running as dark as I was hoping they would and they're not looking true to color. Like I don't feel like this green looks true to color in my crease. I don't feel like this blue is running deep as it looks in the pan. And then I feel like this blue isn't running as light as it looks in the pan either. So a lot of the colors I'm feeling like aren't really being true to color. I don't know if they're oxidized when I put them on my lids. But that is something I'm noticing. And then the shimmers, they're not giving like the um, effect I was hoping. I was hoping they would be like nice sparkly metallic-ish type shades on the lid to give you some pal. I feel like they're more subdued and satin. So I don't necessarily like that either. So I kind of have mixed feelings in my... Um, I don't really have like a true opinion good or bad i'm kind of like in the middle because i'm like i like it okay but it's like i have other stuff i like better but i want to count it up just yet because it's my first time using it. i'm thinking maybe if i use other colors i feel a little bit better about it but i'm really not impressed with this navy blue at all i feel like it's not running as deep as it looks in the pan and i'm not feeling it and then like i said this blue i feel like it's not running light enough and y'all know i live for a blue so the fact that the two blues in here aren't doing it for me i'm kind of disappointed in that the metallics look nice though it's just again i'll swatch some of the ones i didn't use but i'm just I don't know they're not giving the metallic this I was looking for either to me they're giving like more of that like wet looking little bit of satin type finish and I wanted like the metallics like in the first palette they came out with well this pink is giving more of that but it's still I don't know it just seemed a little subdued and then the one I put in my inner corner feels like kind of flaky to me but this is the one I put in my inner corner here here's the pink and then here's the green so I just want to swatch a couple more metallics that I didn't use. So those are the, um, there's two I didn't use and there's one that I did use. The other one looks like it's a sequin, um, shadow. Yeah, it looks like it's a sequin, like, bluish black shade. So again, I don't know why we needed two of those. I swatched that as well right here. 
My verdict's out though. I just have mixed feelings right now, and I don't want to be like, well, it sucks, but it's like I'm not being wowed by it. Like I was hoping I would, so I mean, those are my thoughts for right now. It might change when I do the Battle of the and get similar tones from another palette, but right now it's just me. Like I can take it, I can leave it. I, I'm not super impressed with it, but those are my thoughts. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember, you all are diamonds. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.